is where I'm staying This is my home Are you okay? Yeah, yeah. Did you have a good time on stage? Yeah, yeah. It was good. Why was it good? Um, you know, it's just a feeling thing, really. Hard to uh, describe, really. It's like um, either it functions or it doesn't. Mm -hmm. So, what goes through your head when you're on the stage? Well, at the end of the day, you just do your best, but. but um, what really made the difference was uh, the people were really receptive and really um, positive. At the end of the day, that's the um, half of the contest. Mm -hmm. Right. Uh, I, I could imagine that you were may would maybe be afraid to play on the festival today because there are so many heavy guitar bands and your music is so different that maybe the audience wouldn't be open for that. What, did you, what were your thoughts on that? Um, no, I think I've been playing music long enough to realize that uh, if I'm having fun, that's the only right way and, and not to be too uh, worried about uh, people's um, preconceptions, you know? Mm -hmm. It's like a bonus if they like it, you know? I think it's healthy for them, just a little bit of no guitar music. You yeah. Know? So Spices life up a bit. Yeah, I agree with you, but yeah. I mean, sometimes people aren't that open-minded, you know. Um, I think people have lost, I think a lot of record company and business people have lost faith in, in uh, people in general, because I think they're, they're much more into adventurous things than people think, you know, and it's prove, proven all over, you know. I think mine is pretty easy, but all these things, like they listen to that Polish uh, composer Goretzky, and all these people, and they're right into it, you know. Who is that? Who's that composer? Koretsky, Henrik Koretsky. Yeah? Yeah. He's a classical, modern classical composer? Yeah, he went to, um, well, contemporary person. He went top ten the other day. And that was people's choice, you know. People are into exciting things, you know, these sort of unusual things. They, they want that. They want surprises, you know. How do you know that? Oh, because I'm, you know, everybody's like that, you know, everyone. So what about uh, Iceland? Did you go to uh, big music festivals in Iceland when you were a kid? Yes, but they would play top 40 music, the bands oh. there. And they obviously wouldn't be as big as this, maybe maybe uh, two, three thousand people. Uh -huh. But they would mostly be just playing top top 40 music, cover like, versions. Like cover bands? Or... Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. Bands that were writing their own music in Iceland is really, really difficult. It's, it's almost impossible. Why is that? 
because there are so few people there. They won't buy your records and and uh, it's like a, Icelandic people haven't got faith in their own music. They've got a minority complex. They think music that's from England or America is great, but their own music is shit, you know. So the festivals, there were like cover bands and they would play uh, cover songs and... Uh... Yeah. And then, when, so when did when did you when did you ever go to a big festival for the first time in your life where there was like probably Roskilde when I was eighteen. That's in Denmark, right? Yeah, I, I was in a, a band and we played there. That was the Sugar Cubes. No, it's called Cook. Oh right, Cook. And I saw uh, Yusunatur, which I liked very much. A lot of bands I didn't like so much. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that was very good. This one was brilliant because it was all those musicians, like 15 people, yeah. but still play very dynamically. I liked it very much. Yeah. It's really, really quiet and then wah, really loud. And he has a beautiful voice. Yeah. He's from Senegal, right? From Africa. Um, one thing about your music is that you used to play in Kukul. What's the, how yeah. do you pronounce it? Yeah. Kukul. Kukul and Dan, the Sugar Cubes, which was more or less guitar orientated and now you you have uh, uh, lots of dance influences in your music, right? Well, it's not that obvious because Cook, for example, was quite experimental and sort of some sort of punk jazz, I guess. And and a lot of bands I was in Iceland, like I've made some film music in Iceland on my own with no vocals, but where I would just use synthesizers and drum machines. And I guess the uh, the element that you would probably describe in my music as dance music is something I've gotten like from my youth, like from Brian Eno and and Kraftwerk and uh, Deutsche Amerikanische Frauenskraft and and that. Deutsche French yeah. Oh yeah, I can't yeah, yeah. pronounce. That's but, okay. Tough. But all that, but all that scene, and I think people uh, trend, tend to treat dance music as something that popped up a few years ago, which is rubbish because it's been there for decades, you know. Mm -hmm. And, and uh, yes, I, I like using drum machines and synthesizers, if that's your question. But I don't think really my music is dance music as such because I don't think it's that danceable. It's, it's, oh, yeah, it's, made, it's made for, it's domestic music. For that's what I want it to be, yeah. And not to, but you were dancing to it yourself. I saw you on stage, you were doing Don't this. you dance in your house? Yeah, I do. So it's not like a club music, is mm -hmm. probably what I mean. It's not club music. No. Oh, I see.
'Cause I love you. Violently happy, but you're not here. Violently happy. Come calm me down before I get into trouble. But you're not here. 